hello welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back and as always huge thank you for all the support um apologies i missed the video the other day just something came up that i just couldn't get out of so um unfortunately i wasn't didn't have the time to make the video as well but i'm back today again with the uh, members free gift the enchanted realm which is the members free gift at hunky dory at the moment so you just pay for the postage um, and I'm going to be playing for the next two days. I'm going to be playing with Proud Hearts, which is the beautiful um, lion, sort of the albino lion, um, and this beautiful tiger as well. It's probably well, it is going to be the tiger today that I'm going to be using. So um, I'm going to bring in my scoreboard, which is on the wrong side. There we go. Bring that in. Um, and as usual I've got a piece of card that is 6 by 12 that I've already um, pre-cut to size and this one this card first card is going to be just straightforward 6 by 6 tenth fold so I'm just going to score that at the 6 burnish that down nicely side so when I was tidying up the other day I did find mum's old hunky dory small trimmer so I'm going to try using this today um, because we are only using up to six inches so there's no extender arm on this so it is purely for the smaller cards and I'm going to be using again these um, six by six mirror mats so we'll bring one of those in and to start with, I just want to take two notches off it. So I'm going to go yeah, two notches under the six and two notches under the six. Just going to check that that fits quite nicely. Let me just check my card. This doesn't look very square. Let me just... So let's there. Yeah, it's just a little bit on the edge there, it wasn't quite right. So let's try that now. And that looks a lot better. Okay. And then I'm going to bring in this piece here with our tiger on. And this one needs to be four notches under the six. nice crunchy sound this one and then one two three four notches under the six and I've got this nice piece here which we're also going to be using so I'm just checking that that's got a nice board around and it has and then let's look at the size on this one so this is just over two and a half so I'm just going to trim that down to two and a half we'll just make that a little bit easier for us and then if I take a piece of merry card I'm going to have to use a whole piece and I'm just going to make a mat for this piece here which is going to be Two and a half plus two notches. So let's just check that fits nicely on there. Okay, and it should be four notches under the six. And it is. And so I'm just going to go to four notches under the six again. So that can go in back in with my gold because we've got a piece there as well. And we can pop that to the side for a moment. So let's do a little bit of assembling. So we're going to have our card tenfold way, so it's going to be this way. And I'm going to be using some all-purpose glue and some tacky glue so use the all-purpose in the center of the card it's 
got a little bit of string on it. And then just in the corner is a bit of tacky glue, which just means it dries nice and quick so it holds. Um, and it means it won't be sliding about when I'm trying to put my next layer on. But it does give me that manoeuvrability with the um, all-purpose. Plus the all-purpose does dry really solid and give the card a bit of strength. So with this card, there is a sort of pattern of some leaves. And I think I'm going to go that way so as if they're going up. I don't think it really would matter which way they were going, but since I've decided to look at it now, um, I'm going to pick away. And if you wanted to, you could go ahead and emboss a nice leaf pattern onto this. If you've got a leaf embossing folder, I have got one, but I just decided to keep it a little bit more simpler for people that um, don't have the machines. Okay, but you've got those options there. So again, with the all-purpose and the tacky in the corners, and then this piece onto here. Just trying to make those borders nice and even. Just got a little bit of my tacky glue splitting out there, but it will um, dry clear, so it's not going to be a problem. Okay, so let me grab the topper sheet and I want the big tiger, if I can get it out. these other layers as well because I'm not sure if I'm going to use them all or not. And all the way around. Just being careful because this is a very fine layer there. I don't want to rip it. Okay, so then we just need to decide which way we want them to go. So originally on the cardstock, it was um, that way around. So let's have a look. So my plan was to put that behind and then come in with these over the top. Could possibly leave out a layer. I think with the darkness of the tones, I think it will need it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this one down flat. I was toying with the idea of putting like a one millimetre pad on, but I think it's just going to make things a little harder later on. And it's not really going to add to the, the design, so... Um, I'm just going to keep that as it is, nice and flat. So I'm thinking it's probably about even, yeah. Okay. So with these, I'm thinking I want the gold one to be sort of flatter, and then these other two layers nice and high. So, we get that sort of where we want it, which is going to be there. And I can just, oops, got a bubble there, just go on my frame with my tacky glue, just a little tiny glue bit. Don't really need a lot, it is a really good glue. And I can just slot that, she says, back in. A bit of glue on there, but it will rub off. Just making sure that's nice and straight because it's going to impact us later on if it isn't. That's fine. Okay. Okay. What I'm 
going to do is just grab a little bit of tissue just rub that tacky glue off my gold frame so it's not going to do any damage to it it's not like the um, all-purpose glue which would take the shine off the tacky glue will just rub off because it is a water-based glue okay so now we're going to need some nice chunky pads I think probably come in with the crafters companion ones I'll go with these ones these ones are the smaller ones let me just see if I've got any of the bigger ones here And so we use these ones that's fine okay so I'm going to start with the outer frame and these would be perfect for here anyway and these pads they're probably about a five millimeter so you know a good nice chunky one if you've got any of the hunky dory strips one strip ones they would be perfect if you've got a sort of deeper strip if you're copying Just going all the way around. Sorry, this bit is probably the most boring bit of the video. Watch me put foam pads on. So, and I just give it a little press down just to make sure I've got um, some pads supporting it all over. And then just grabbing these backs off. And what I might do for the um, inside is double pad a hunky dory one. So that's the other option you've got. If you haven't got a foam pad to the height you want, you can pop one on top of the other just to give yourself that extra bit. So this is just going to take me a minute or so to get these backs off. So I'm just going to fast forward to when that's done. Okay, so I've got all the backs off and what I've also done is just popped a little bit of tacky glue on each of those pads just to give me a little bit of wiggle room time and then I'm just going to see is there an, uh, a right or a wrong way up and there doesn't seem to be, it's a mirror image of itself each corner so I can just go ahead and pop that into place. okay and then this one i'm going to bring in these hunky dory ones um i think they're probably about a two two millimeter so and i think once i've double padded these it should be slightly higher than the crafters companion one maybe by a millimeter but we will see it may be exactly the same size but i've got a feeling it's just going to be slightly higher just straight over the top and it doesn't matter if it's not exactly in the right place as long as you've got most of it on there you will be fine okay that should be just going to grab cut one in half just for that support in the middle I just think if you put this in the if I put this in the post and it happens to get pressed in that middle piece as it's the topper as it's the most important part of the design really it's the first thing you're going to look at you don't want it to be squashed down so let's just put that little bit in there just for a little bit of support and really you didn't even need to take the backs off it if you didn't want to you know you could stick one on top of the other and leave them leave the back on as soon as it's just for support but out of habit i just take them all off and that's going in and it is just a tiny bit taller which is perfect so we've got that to there and then I think I'm going to come in with those um, favourite gems of mine at the moment these gold ones I really do need to order some more of these I have used loads I have got some different ones coming some um, like pearly ones which I think will then become my new favourite but I do like these they have got a nice lot of sparkle to them so 
I'll just put the top off my glue because it's just got a bobble on it. And I'm going to work with pick up tool. It's my knife. Okay, I'll have a look for that in a minute because I need to do that with all of my eyes since it's a sharp blade. So I'm going to do three down here. And I think I'm going to go uh, medium, smaller, and medium. Just put those in a nice little line. And then I'm going to repeat that at this top side. I feel like that's lifting a little bit, so I'll just put a little bit of glue under there. So we want a sort of medium large one, medium large one, and then that small one in the middle. Okay. And I'll just pop these back in there. We might use them again later, but. Well, now I'm going to pop them away. And they're just a question of just getting those into the position where you're happy with them. And I am quite happy with that, I think. Um, so that's going to be the first card. So we've got our little tent fold, and that's the completed one. If you wanted to leave this out, you could do, you could also just have like a plain green. Or blue to pick up these blue tones you know from that matastic um, cardstock that would look pretty stunning as well um, but what I would say is what if you're doing a border like I've done with the gold then do add a border on that so it all ties it it all in together um, but yeah that's pretty simple but um, a nice little tent fold probably would need um, a, a sort of box elope if you like or a small box just because of the um, height I've put on it you could get away with going lower uh, maybe a one millimeter foam pad and then it would probably still fit in a normal envelope um, but what I'm going to do is just get set up for card number two okay so for the second card I'm going to be using up um, this um, piece here and the little topper there so I'm going to bring in another piece of six by twelve cardstock and I'm going to bring in my scoreboard. I'm going to be doing a um, gatefold, but the off centre one. Okay, so I'm going to score at four. And then because I've got the smaller scoreboard, I'm going to turn that around and score it too. So we're still going to have six in the middle. So our card will still go in a six by six envelope. Um, but it just means that our fold is not going on the and the centre part so it just makes for a little bit more of an interesting um, sort of shaped card okay so that is that let's bring in hunky dory guillotine again so I'm going to bring out two more pieces of this card stock, this gold mirror and I want to do the inside first of all so in here we're going to decorate it with the insert and I need that to be two notches under the six and two notches under the six and then that should fit in there quite nicely and then for the front I need a piece that's four by six and two by six so again I'm going to go two notches under so two notches under the four by two notches under the six and that should fit onto that front panel and then we want this is the tricky one because we've got the smaller piece two notches under the two and then two notches under the six and then that should fit onto that piece on there. Okay, let's just get rid of that. And then what I'm going to do is cut 
this down <laughs> just trying to decide I want to keep obviously all of this Im image on so um, four notches under the six we've got a lovely chunk of card there that we can use elsewhere and then I'm going to go down to four notches under the four one, two, three, four and that should fit onto there quite nicely and it does and then this is going to be even trickier because it needs to be four notches under the two just because of this trimmer that's all uh, you don't have the facility on this trimmer to go on this side like I have on my other one so I'm just going to hold that in place hope for the best Let's see how that goes on there oh, that's pretty good I'm happy with that okay and then I need to grab the inserts so we need to find our tiger rabbit horse polar bear And then this needs to be four notches under the six as a square. And then one, two, three, four. And that should fit quite nicely onto there. And the benefit of using the guillotine is that it doesn't mind cutting that paper. Okay, let's pop that out of the way get rid of those little bit they're a bit too small for me to save and um, we can do a little bit of assembling so I am going to come in with a little bit of all purpose and then just what I've been doing lately with the dotty pens in those corners just because the um, tacky glue is water based so it can make your papers rock up. It's all right the card. Um, and that's this one, this tacky glue, which comes out of that bottle. Okay, and that's um, what I get from Crafters Companion at the moment. I uh, usually wait till they're on an offer, which I do believe they are on offer three for, um, I think it's under £10. Um, so if you are needing any tacky glue, now is the time well now is a good time obviously make sure you've got your basket up to free shipping because okay so we've got that down i'm just giving it a good press down so that that glue really does stick to the back because the worst thing in the world is trying to write on a, a piece of paper that's got lumps in it through glue so it's just worth giving it an extra press just to make sure and this glue, if there was a lump of glue under there, it would dry solid because it it will it does go like concrete, you know, so it's always worth giving it an, an extra little squish down. Not sure if I put any tacky glue on the edges of that, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. So again. And this is just the way that I use my glue guys. So, you know, if you have other ways or if you've seen other people using different ways, you know, everybody, uh, lots of people have different ways of using these things. So, and I think it comes down to, you know, um, what you get happy with using and, and what works for you. And uh, this is what works for me. Um, but that's not the only way to do it. So not by any means. And these are not the only glues in the world as well, so you know they're all. Uh, there are a lot of different glues out there that are very good. I also like the uh, pin flare book binding glue as well, um, <clears throat> but I haven't bought from Crate and Craft in a while, so uh, and which is where I used to get them from, or um, the shows. If I go to the shows. Um, which I haven't been since mum's been gone, bless her. But um, And they used to have one in Peterborough. They used to have one in October in Peterborough, but for some reason 
not this year they've not not coming to us this year so I was a bit disappointed but hey hey I'm thinking maybe the March one the big one at Birmingham I might go to if, if uh, I've got some dosh to spend of course okay so we've got our tiger now the sentiments on here um the one that I've got left is to my king you fill my heart with pride and I think they sort of more relate to the lion so I'm going to bring back in um, some of these sentiments from the just my type um, from where I was using the other day and I know they were on um, they were showing them this morning on hunky dory um, I think they are on a special offer so um, if you are looking to get some of those definitely worth having a little look because I think they've got a Halloween, they've got a Halloween event at the moment, haven't they? It's uh, well, it's not Halloween, but it's it's not a sale as such. It's just a um, a Halloween thing. So, but there are a lot of things. Dyes are on offer. Um, you know, there's a lot of brilliant things there. Okay, so I'm working on where I want my this um, to go, and I know I can. I want it more onto this right hand side. So I'm just going to put my pads on this right hand side and I'm fine with just two and these are the, I think they're probably about a two millimetre, possibly a three and these are the hunky dory ones. So again, just popping that down into there so that they're not interfering with each other. And then we're just going to come up with um, a sentiment. So let me bring that trimmer back in. And which one did I think? I think there was a Ventra weight I liked. And there's another one. We'll just go with it. Uh, what shall I do to the one of the other ones? So we've got a choice of let your li your light shine. Life is sweet. Make a wish. Never give up. Choose joy. Do something great. You are amazing. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Let love blossom. Be thankful. You can change the world. You are magic. No fear. Adventure awaits. Life is beautiful. Stay cool. Shine like stars. Heart to heart. Little by little. Follow your heart. Make someone smile today. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is uh, okay, I'm going to cut that follow your heart off first. So I'm just going to line that sort of black line up with the edge. And then I'm going to come in again on the next one because I want the one above it. So that's the beautiful thing about these is you've got all of these different little sayings and sentiments and you just cut away the ones you want and a lot of the times um, the ones on the same line sort of do sort of work together um, but I'm going to use two I think I'm going to use um, the adventure weights which I did say so let's just pop that back on there adventure weights and the follow your heart Oops. Obviously you keep all of these bits, don't lose any. I think what I'm going to have to do is get myself a little box to pop them in. Uh, follow your heart, adventure awaits. Um, actually, let's take a little bit more because I've got that line there. Let's use the scissors. I am going to come in with some gold and um, just give them a little bit of uh, a little something something so we've got a little scrap of gold here let's see is that going to be long enough might have to just cut that down a little bit and that one's perfect okay so let's pop this in sorry could have done this beforehand. So, 
making a little border just tiniest little bit of gold to come through and then same on this one and it's I'm not doing any sort of specific measurement I'm just doing it by eye That was just a tiny scrap of gold that was worth keeping just for those so maybe i will pop that in with that pack so let me bring my scissors back and i'm just going to take a little bit off that end because i want to try and keep the sentiment in the middle and then tiny little bit and I need to take a little bit more obviously just do it until you are happy with it and you can always just go around and add a bit more ink to these if you wanted um, just obviously being careful of the sentiment so you don't go over it take the teeniest tiniest bit Should be perfect I think yep happy with that I'm gonna take a tiny wee bit off here as well okay so for these I think I'm gonna come in with the old dotty glue Just trim a little bit if I want to and I might just take another bit off there and that's just because these again are paper there we go Perfect. I don't think I'm happy with those so I'm not going to do anything further so Let's see how we want these to go. We could come over here or down here. Or we could even put that inside. Hmm. We could do it the other way around. Yeah, I think I'm going to go like that. So let's bring in, let's cut these ones down. These are probably about a one millimetre. So I'm just going to pop two on the back of here because it's quite long enough to go all the way. And the one on the inside I'm going to stick down flat. Okay. So this is going to be ideal for somebody who's going away for a gap year um, or they've got a big change come up in their life for some reason or traveling Put that one up there okay happy with those and then we need some gems so let's have a look. So we have got the gold as an option. I was kind of thinking maybe about trying to bring out some of those blue tones, but it's going to be a question of whether I have got the right blue tones. So I've got some beautiful blue pearls there, but I think they are a bit too blue. And those are not quite blue enough. Those are a sort of turquoisey blue. Those are a deep blue. Okay, bear with me. I'm just going to have a little look through. Okay, so the only ones that um, really stay strong against these dark colours 
of these. Now they don't look very bright, these blue. There are a couple of different sizes in there, just one or two. Um, so let's just go... We'll do the three again. I was hoping I wouldn't do the same thing on both. So let's do large and two small or two smaller ones on there. And again that glue will dry clear. And then I'm gonna do Two bigger ones along the top. So I've got a little that mini dauber. Just try and pick up some of that glue. Like I say, it will dry clear, but. a bit messy at the moment. Okay. Let's pop those back into there. I need to sort out my gem dra uh, drawer because it's, it's getting crazy at the moment. Okay, so that is that one finished. So adventure awaits, follow your heart. Now just going back to that first one, I did notice that we didn't put or I didn't put a sentiment on so the other sentiment on that one was birthday wishes and I kind of thought the best place for it would be at the top there or at the bottom. Uh, purely because I didn't feel that it sort of the card would flow if it would go in and I think it kind of looks a bit dark against some other colours. I mean it would fit there okay. But I kind of had my heart set up there. So that is what I am going to do with it. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of tacky glue across the centre of it. I'm not putting any foam pads on because hardly any of it is going to be showing. I'm just going to pop that over the top there. Just make sure that's nice and straight. go over a little bit but just grab that little bit of tissue back bring that round so it's straight just take that bit of glue off okay so that is the um two cards for today so um that's those finished so Next time I'm um, coming back with that lion again. So we've got, I'll just bring those toppers in and show you. So we've got the backing card with that beautiful panel. Um, and then we've got the lions. Um, we've got a couple of tags as well and to my king. All with that beautiful foil on. So that's what we'll be playing with next time. So thank you very much for watching and um, for all the support you guys show me. I really, Like I say, I really do appreciate it and that's why I do keep saying it. Um, but that's it for today. So thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. Happy crafting. Bye.